we've got yet another overcast day today and that temperature last night seemed to drop down quite cool as well not to the point where there could have been a frost but it did drop quite a few degrees considering that this weekend is going to be the hottest weekend at year somewhere around 74 Fahrenheit so it's definitely going to be really warm unfortunately that's going to be followed by storms and rain so that weather is still very unsettled and that's why still at the moment we've not moved all those tomato plants into that outdoor container garden area because we've got a few set up at the moment whether they be cherry falls cascading dwarf tomato plants or the sweet million that we've got quite a big container which has now reached an height of about four feet but because we're still getting bits and bobs of winds and the temperature has just not evened out enough I'm still not at a point where I want to put those plants in that container garden and that's why the cucumber is still in here a week later and those are outdoor cucumbers and I'm still not in a position where I'm 100% confident to put those tender plants in that container garden because for the sake of just a few days we could end up losing plants and it took us too long to grow them especially this year to allow that to happen so plants like these are still in greenhouse that's another container sweet million that we did we've got a couple of these in containers and we've got some nice flowers on them and a really nice sized plant but that's because it's in here apart from the temperatures at night dropping down a little bit low added to the fact that we're still getting these winds we could end up with wind damage as well ideally we need nighttime temperatures to be above 50 Fahrenheit for plants to have any chance of thriving continuously around clock so we're just leaving them here for the moment there's no need to rush everything outside if you can accommodate them in a greenhouse we've also got flowers as well we grew some of these from seed really pretty flowers these are called blue bedders and you can get seeds for those from Wilco's and it's just a case of dropping a couple of seeds in and leaving them to it they're not difficult to grow at all in fact probably one of the easiest flowers I've ever grown but because we've got them in these nine centimeter pots the bottoms of these plants are struggling you can take these away not hurt your plant and these plants very resilient if you put them in your raised bed this will keep splitting off into these single stems and before you know it you'll have a plant about that wide and about this tall they grow really well I have got videos last year of these plants as they were growing through summer so these leaves at the bottom they're starting to brown a little bit the tips aren't looking very good we don't need those so I'm just taking them off and then we've got a much cleaner plant I don't know if slugs eat these plants it seems to me that this year slugs will pretty much eat anything they come across but we don't want to encourage that by leaving all this decaying foliage in there so it's best to just have a quick clean round and get rid of that it takes seconds and you've got a nice clean plant again and they're all basically the same this plant's a little smaller but still a clean up never hurts we like to keep a few flowers around the garden obviously if it bees but also when you're doing a container garden these plants massively attract bees all the way through last year when we was growing these in a raised bed outside there was never a second that I looked where they weren't covered in bees so these attract your pollinators so if you're putting these next to your plants like your tomatoes and your chilies you're going to get your plants pollinated a lot quicker and of course that goes for most plants as well but these ones I find are really pretty plants and they're very easy to grow but we probably should give them a little bit more room than we have done to let them fill out a little bit and there's nothing wrong with having a vegetable garden with a bit of colour in it so we'll get round to potting those on at some point and then putting them back in that container garden hopefully round about the same time we can actually move as chilies and as tomatoes and as cucumbers into that outdoor area as well I think definitely over the weekend we're going to be emptying those greenhouses anyway because it's going to be far too hot 
if you're getting into mid 70s outside you're going to be probably mid 80s in your greenhouse so rather than have that constant battle of watering i'd rather move them outside and hopefully it stays warm enough long enough to be able to leave them out there because i've also got things like this big container it's really filled out and it's supposed to be in that container garden as well but we've got tomato plants in there as well as tenderette or slenderette bush beans and you can see exactly how much this plant has now filled out we've got little tomatoes growing on here already tiny little cherry tomatoes on the way as a whole these little bush tomatoes have now gone crazy they're getting really big while at the same time those bush beans are putting out more and more flowers which are now starting to turn into little beans it's just a mass of vegetation we have got a bit of leaf damage but we can take those off as we need to but overall really big container itching to grow bigger and bigger so that's a really full container and it's doing really well so we'll just leave that in here for a bit longer and then next to it is that cucumber that we still haven't moved outside either and we put those tiny little lettuce plants in there as well and look at the size of that lettuce now but the best thing about it is this lettuce is completely undamaged which is exactly how we like it and we've got a melon plant on there probably should take that off before it gets knocked off but behind this cucumber it's getting bigger and bigger and if we move in a little bit closer you can see it's got the start of its first cucumber and there's also more little buds coming on bottom as well so if this plant wants to grow it wants to start providing us with fruit but like I said ideally it should be outside especially since it's got lettuce in because once it gets a bit too hot they're going to start to shrivel up and we're going to have to really keep his eye on them it definitely gets frustrating when you're growing your plants and they're getting bigger and bigger and you just want to get them outside clear some space and grow some more ideally keeping all your tenderest plants in this greenhouse all through year things like your peppers and your tomatoes but because we do that container garden we always have at least one of everything and we've got as cucumbers we've got as peppers and we've got as tomato plants but we just can't seem to reach that point where we're confident enough to just get them all out there and just leave them to start providing us with fruit we're holding on once again but that's the sensible choice we know that we've got lots of plants out there already but we've got things out there like peas and beans onions and salads but they're cold hardy plants we don't have to worry about those they're perfectly happy in that environment and suited a lot better to that environment than this one and we just want to reach that point where we can get all the tenderest stuff out but we're better off waiting until we're 100% positive rather than taking any risks at this point in year even though it is June and you think it'd be really warm consistently now so all we can do is carry on sowing seeds putting things on and taking what harvest we can get from that container garden and to be honest over the last couple of months we have had quite a lot out of there and we know there's a lot more to come it's going to be amazing to walk around that area with a basket taking a salads little cucumbers handfuls of cherry tomatoes and fresh peas and that time is coming but for the moment we're just gonna to have to make do with what we've got meanwhile we'll be getting these plants put into a bigger container all together and popping them in that container garden because as soon as we do at that point where we can get everything into that area we want to be attracting as many pollinators as possible so we can get those fruits growing as quick and for as long as we can so I'm going to find a container get these potted on and we'll put them straight back down in that container garden because we have got flowers on as peas and they need pollinators just as much as everything else and they'll quite happily grow in that area with no problems so that's another job for me to do today 
And on next video, we'll go down to that container garden area and we'll have a look, see how everything's getting on. Because I'm sure some things are doing a lot better than others, but we'll find out. If you're interested in seeing what's happening in the container garden at the beginning of June, then please hit that subscribe button and press that notifications bell. And I look forward to seeing you then. Take care. Thank you.